I think we're actually stuck this time. It's not looking too good, to be honest. Yeah, it's not looking great. Right, so we completed most of the Nullarbor today. We've done 11 hours drive, and I think it's just over a thousand k's that we've done. We're now camped out at the Bunda Cliffs, about three hours away from Fowler's Bay, where we're going to be camping tomorrow night. But yeah, it's been a big day of driving, but we're glad that we've done most of the Nullarbor today. We'll show you a bit of the sunset in a bit. Just leaving the Bundercliffs campground now, just in SA. Um, we're gonna go finish the Nullarbor and go to Fowler's Bay, Scott's Beach, and then we'll probably camp up there for a couple of nights. Last stop on the Nullarbor, woohoo! Nearly there. Right, the road down to Fowler's Bay and Scott's Beach, where we are at the moment, it's starting to get a little bit rough. So I'm just going to drop the tyres down a little bit and then I might have to drop them down further once we're in the sand dune section near the campsite. We're just down at Scott's Beach now and uh, we just got into the campgrounds. You've got a section that's a bit, a bit more sealed and there's quite a few spaces. It's unallocated and there is a little toilet up there as well. But going from wiki camp reviews, they reckon if we punch up through the sand dunes a little bit, the camp spots up there are a little bit better. But I think you do need a, a pretty good full drive and to reduce your tire pressures to get through. Um, but we'll show you in a bit. We're just trying to figure out where we're going to camp. We came up into June to have a look, but it just looks like it's getting a bit, a bit too rocky and you'll be up on the cliff face as well. So I think we're going to head back down and drive along the beach and just find somewhere up in the dunes that we can camp for the, a night or two. So the beach has just started to get really soft really quickly. Um, I'm bogged, it doesn't look like I'm bogged, but I'm not going back and forth. So I'll get a shovel out quick and then uh, might even chuck the max tracks under, just try and get us out of this spot. Putting Helen to work with the shovel. I'll probably grab the max tracks out. I've got to do a whole, I've got to turn around basically. So might end up getting bogged again. And then I'll probably chuck the max tracks under, drop tires and just uh, see how we go. But I think we're gonna head back towards the main campground a little bit. The sand is getting really soft and we're out here by ourselves, so we don't want to get caught out. All right, back track's coming off. I don't want to be messing around too much, just want to get straight out if we can. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Oh, this sand is so soft. 
think we're actually stuck this time. It's not looking too good, to be honest. But try to come down to this dip, and I'm uh, a little bit bogged. Yeah, it's not looking great. Just another <laughs> two hours of digging. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, uh, really got stuck this time, but I think we'll just keep edging forward. Right, we're finally out of that mess. <laughs> I think it took us nearly an hour or two just to get out of. Oh. Anyway, that's a note for future if you're traveling by yourself. Probably don't get yourself into a sticky situation like we did. We're gonna head back up to the campground just up there where it's nice and sealed and I won't be getting bogged <laughs> again. But yeah, what a nightmare. <laughs> So we're down here at Scotts Beach, not too far from Fowler's, and we finally got set up for the afternoon. Look <laughs> <laughs> at the ocean just there, I'm just going for a bit of a fish, see if I can pick anything up. Apparently it's pretty good for fishing around this way, and it's also good for crabs and stuff, but I don't have any crab pots, so just stick with fishing for now. And yeah, I'll uh, show you if I catch anything. Caught a little tiny herring. He's pretty small though. <laughs> so I put him straight back in the water. Another little herring just off the rocks here at Scotts Beach. Uh, I don't really want a herring today, so they're all be going back for now. So we're just down here at Scotts Beach and we are camped up just behind the dunes. The main campground is over there and there's a toilet around there as well. But we're just to one side, just a little bit more private. But it's pretty protected from the wind, just here behind the sand dunes. And I think the campground's 12 or $13 per night. And I believe a ranger comes around and collects it or something like that. There isn't an honesty box like a lot of the camps we go to, um, but we're yet to see the ranger. So whether we see him or not, I'm not too sure. When you do come into SA from WA as well, well from Esperance where we came from, there's a two and a half hour time difference from when you go from Esperance to here and it's absolutely ruined us like we feel jet lagged and the sun here it doesn't set till like nine o'clock at night we got used to it in wa going down at like half seven and coming up at like five half five and uh, here it doesn't come up till like seven half seven so it's really sort of throwing our body clocks out a little bit and uh yeah we're both struggling a little bit today we just feel a bit worn out and tired and yeah so we'll probably try and have an early night's sleep even though we probably won't be able to sleep but yeah, anyway, it's Helen, you've got the sea behind, you've got sand dunes. Up on the sand dunes here, you do get a bit of phone reception. And, but when you're down in the campground, you don't get any. So we've just been up here sorting a couple of bits out. And just, we're gonna just chill. Sun's gonna go down in a minute. The sunset doesn't set over the ocean here, but it'll set over the hills. And uh, yeah, I think we'll enjoy the evening and I'll probably just get on the laptop in a little bit as well. Right, sunset's just gone behind us and we're going to call it a night. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Uh, we're going to leave Scotts Beach this morning. 
and we're just having a bit of coffee and a bit of breakfast. Hans has made this absolute mountain of a breakfast for myself, and then we'll just have that coffee. Probably get a bit of foam reception up on the sand dunes, and then we'll head off to uh, Cactus Beach via Fowler's Bay, I think. from Scotts Beach. I did read on Google that it is a bit rough but it is quite short so we didn't want to take the long way around. Um, I think it's only good in dry weather so definitely use with caution especially if you're towing a caravan but I'll give you a quick look at it now. It's not awful but we've just got on it so we'll keep you tuned. We've just been to Fowler's Bay Jetty. It's pretty cool actually. The long jetty goes right out in front of us. I didn't film out there because it is a little bit windy, but it's meant to be good for a fish and crabbing and that kind of stuff. And there is a little coffee shop just behind us as well, which is a part of the caravan park. But outside of that, I don't think there's a whole lot to do here, unless you're into fishing or just going down the beach and that kind of stuff. There isn't really a lot to do. So we're gonna head down to the next place, which is Cactus Beach, I believe. And I think we'll be staying in that area tonight. And uh, yeah, we'll show you as we go. But yeah, Fowler's Bay is kind of cute. It's just a little fishing town, really. But outside of that, I don't think there's much to do. So we're just on the way down to Cactus Beach now. We just stopped at Penong for some fuel. And we're just going past Lake McDonald now, which is one of the pink lakes. So we're just going to put the drone up quickly, take a little bit of footage as we drive across, and then head down to Cactus Beach. We're just down to Cactus Beach in a minute, but it looks like, unless you're a hardcore surfer, it's not really <laughs> that amazing. Like, I, I can't even fish it because it's like a rocky shelf, it goes out pretty far. I wouldn't even be able to cast past it if it's kind of wind at the minute. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, it'd be a shame to not stay here, but at the same time, we feel like we could put our time into somewhere else. So, I think we need to get jump back in the car and head off to Seduna, I think. Yeah. Right, so we're just leaving Cactus Beach now, and we're gonna head out to Seduna. Well, we'll probably stay tonight. We might try and get in the gym this afternoon. And we're probably just going to use the Juno as a bit of a base just to stock up on food. Uh, we're going to book a few bits up tonight. And I'll probably jump on the laptop for a little bit as well. So yeah, like Cactus Beach, beautiful. And if you're into surfing, it looks like the, like the spot to be. But for us, it just wasn't quite the kind of place that we want to spend time. Like we can use, we can use the time somewhere else instead. So yeah, we're going to head into Juno, which is one hour drive from here. And we'll show you there in a bit. Also at Cactus Beach, there's a camp there, but it's $17.50 per adult per night. So for the one night, it would have been $35 for us to. And you don't really get a whole lot for that. Like it's more like, it's just like a beach camp. I think there might be a toilet block and that's it really. But for the same price, we can get a powered site in Sedona at Caravan Park with showers and all that kind of stuff. So 
for us like it was a little a little bit expensive for what it is um, but at the same time it's a beautiful spot and it might that, that might be your kind of thing So we've actually spent half a day in Seduna. We booked the, well, we didn't book it. We turned up at the foreshore caravan park and it was only $35 a night. So we've done our washing, had some showers, which was nice after beach camping, had some food and we just really went to the gym at Forever Fit, which was really good. Only $10 per person for the session. And then Charlie's changed the air filter and then we've just been pottering around. Charlie's been making videos and I've been doing all the washing and the cooking. So tomorrow we're going to go to Smoky Bay, see what that's about, see if we can catch up with Carl and Morgan while they're there. And then after that we'll go to Palubi, which can't wait for. Right, so these are the rock pools. If you've got wiki camps, you'll find it. But we've just parked up the top and just walked down the steps or what's, whoa, what's left of the steps anyway. And uh, yeah, this is a famous rock pool that a lot of people take pictures of. And uh, I think I'm gonna get in there. I don't think Helen is today. <laughs> it's a bit windy and a bit chilly, so. So I've got a feeling I've been calling this area Point Drummond. I've got no phone signal, so I'm not sure where I've got that from, but it's got, I think the area's called Point Brown instead. But we're just down here at the beach in a minute. It's quite a few guys down here surfing. But the whole area seems like it's free camping and there's a few sort of designated areas where people seem to camp, but it's pretty chill. It's a cool place as well. And uh, we're just down at the beach in a minute. I'll show you a bit more in a bit. So this is just at Point Brown. It is pretty beautiful. You've got the rocks here. I'm probably just gonna go for a fish off in a minute. But I feel like I'm in like Spain or Portugal or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. European. Yeah, it's really cool actually. Um, it's really peaceful. It's just a few guys camped up up here. We're gonna stay here for the night, but it, most of the people here are just down here for the surfing. It's all free camping out this way as well. Um, there's plenty of like spots on the wiki camps around the area that's just free camping and stuff but I think you can pretty much just pull up anywhere you want so this is Point Brown where we camped tonight it's not a bad spot to be honest with the awning up we've got a tent up and then Helen's just prepping dinner now but there's a few people camped here, not many though, um, but they've chosen to open up onto the water. Whereas we kind of tucked into the dunes a little bit, it is a little bit windy tonight. So we decided to come here instead. Um, but yeah, no, it's an awesome spot and it's free camping. But I don't, I'm not sure about if you're allowed fires or not, but there's people here with dogs and stuff, which is good. And yeah, so we're gonna have a bit of dinner. And I think we'll just kick back and enjoy tonight.
fresh sunset with Carl Morgan and Carl's going to make his famous scones and then we're going to call it a night, get up early and head to Panubi. Woohoo! Morning, we're up super early today to try and get to Panubi Beach so we can get a spot because it's a Saturday but we're still struggling with that time change from WA to SA because it just means that the sun's just rising so much later so we're all sleepy and but look how amazing this like scenery is right now. I suppose the perk will be able to see the sunrise every day again.